Uh, Dev was doing uh, the step ups on the K box, uh, assisting himself up and then lowering down without his hand. Um, kind of what's the logic behind that? Um, he's a decathlete, you know, obviously doing a lot of events, but what was your thought process behind incorporating that? So the, the K box is fantastic uh, just in general. I think it's a great way of creating an eccentric overload in a very safe manner. Uh, the flywheel provides a level of resistance that you're not going to find in mass-based loading. So I really like to use it just in general. Uh, the, the step up is something that I've really started using a lot lately. It's uh, relatively easy to set up. Um, holding across the body in the opposite side hand that you're stepping up in. Uh, the way we typically do it is we hold onto a stable structure. For us, that means the, the squat rack. We assist up slightly uh, on the concentric portion, and then we remove the hand that was assisting and then lower as slowly as possible, which inevitably is not all that slow uh, if you're doing it right. So there's a couple benefits there. One is that you have the very obvious benefits of just that you get from a flywheel, meaning an eccentric overload, um, somewhat like accommodating resistance because the more that you put into the system, the more that you get out, uh, more resistance that it gives you. But then in the step up, we have a true unilateral exercise. So there's a lot of variations of things that you can do on the K box. Uh, it is, you know, really just limited by your imagination. But most of what you'll see people doing are things like squats and even split squats for the lower extremity. But if you set things up correctly, you can actually do a, a squat, or excuse me, a, a step up, which is a true unilateral exercise, unlike the split squat, which is more like a bilateral asymmetrical exercise or a kind of a one and a half is what some people might call it. Uh, so the step up gives you an opportunity to really work in single support. Uh, that big load that the person is uh, taking on on the eccentric portion really forces them to stabilize at the hip and the uh, lump and pelvic hip complex. And you can really feel it. There's a tendency for it to kind of move you around if you're not really stable in there and you can really feel the, the glute, in particular glute medius, really light up because of that. So there's quite a few benefits that I see out of it. Uh, in particular at this point in the year, what we've done is gone from a little bit of a higher box to a little bit of a lower box so that the range of motion is a little bit less and the, uh, the, the loading is still about the same but through a, a shorter range of motion. So when they're only operating in their strongest concentric and eccentric range of motion, a little more specific to what we're trying to do on the track at this point in the year as well.